Hi everyone, it's the Gopher here again. I'm going to be bringing you the latest Mo Creatures by Dr. Zark. That's 3.7.1, which has the um, bug fixes for a few things like when you log off and then log back on, your horses are changing colour, stuff like that. Um, and in another video, uh, in a short while, I'll be doing how to do a server. But this is how to get um, your single player going. So we'll go straight into it, and um, first thing you're going to need to do is to... Oops, is to um, Download the video, it's the, the, the mod itself, and that's nice and easy. Now you don't need mod loader anymore, don't forget, because the, the newest version of um, Forge has mod loader in it. So you'll need to grab yourself Forge. Now you can grab everything from here. Um, you need Forge, I think the latest version is 3.3.8.152. And don't forget, if you want to do the server, you're going to need to get the Forge of the same version for your server because sometimes if you get um, a different version of your forge for your single player than you do for your server you can get invisible mobs okay so grab forge and then grab GUI the latest version of GUI and you'll also need um, the custom mob spawner 1.5.1 um, which is also made by Dr. Zark and that's his latest version of that okay so I've got those already downloaded here if you can hear banging, I do apologise, there's somebody next door who's actually putting a roof on their house, so that might be a bit noisy. So, here's the .minecraft folder, which is where your bin is, which is where your Minecraft jar is. In that, if you're not sure on how to get to that, just open my computer, and in the address bar you can type in percentage app data, which is A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, percentage, enter, and at the top you'll find dot the dots are here and then everything else underneath so dot minecraft double click it and then there will be your bin okay you can also do that from start and run and type in percentage update percentage so let's go let's go into the bin and into the jar now this is really a nice simple install there's nothing like too hard that you're going to be like oh my god i don't know what i'm doing it's real simple okay first thing you need to do is get rid of meta inf you need to get rid of that little girl otherwise you'll sit there with a black screen and then you'll be posting in the thread saying why am I getting a black screen. So here we go, this is real simple. Okay, so you get your Minecraft Forge and you'll open that, get every single file and drop it across. Now you can take out the readme text and things stuff like that, but it doesn't make any difference so I can't be bothered to sit here and pick them out. And the second one is GUI API. Now GUI API sometimes you'll see people post in the in the um, in the forums and say I've um, got a problem here, have a look, and it tells you, it shows you the error, and the error says widget, blah, 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 blah. If you get a widget error, it means that you, that it's saying, go and get widget, and the program goes to get it, and it's not there, which means you haven't installed it, or you haven't installed it properly, so I can't find it, because all of these are widgets. Just a little tip. So, grab everything out of there, same again, drop it straight in. That's a big guy, it's got lots inside those folders at the top. Now, you'll always know if these things are going incorrectly, because... You see, it's got these little guys over here. So you'll see that the more folders appear when you drop it across. That's it. That's, that is literally your jar done. Okay. So you can just close that off now. And you go back out one, which goes back into your .minecraft. And here is your mods folder. Now, oh, let me just remove there. Sorry about that. I'll drop them into here for a second. Um... I do try different things here and there and see what's happening um, to see if things will work together. Now, let's get on with this one, which is literally get Dr. Zarks and the custom mob spawner. This is 151 and 371. Don't forget the new ones. Drop that in. And that's that. She's done. That is really all you have to do. Okay? And now you can start Minecraft. Now. I'll go in and run it up and make sure that it's working okay, but this should be fine. Now, as I've said in previous videos, I, my video card isn't very good, um, and the software that I'm using um, to record these doesn't really show a very good video when it's in-game, so if it doesn't look very good, I do apologise. Okay. So let's log in, and you'll see here that it'll tell you what's loaded because you're using the new um, mod loader, um, the new Forge, which has FML or Forge mod loader in it. You can look and see what mods you've got running, and it will show you in here, which is quite cool. 
Now don't forget before we start I'll take you in, you can go into options, into global, into Dr. Zark and this is where you change your spawn rates because you see people say oh my god I'm, you know, I'm getting lag because I've got so many creatures, well if you've got a slower PC you probably don't want so many things spawning so just go in here and drop it down, just roll it with your mouse or you can click with these, okay, so you can take it down to 44 and 18 and 37, simple, and that will then change the spawn rates on your PC. You can then go in and say I don't want it to, because of, of course with um, with boat creatures, horses are the number one thing really that a lot of people play this for and the last thing you want to do is have one of the wolves or whatever come along and eat your horse, kill it. So make sure that's a no and you can change everything else in there, blah blah blah, it's entirely up to you. Yep. And if you've got um, dogs that you're um, that you're taming along the way and you don't want them to get killed, same again. Okay, so that's how you do it. There's also an insta spawner if you want to instantly spawn a specific creature in your game. Um, you just go through this, click it, and you can choose which one you want and how many you want to spawn. Yep. Right, let's just make sure that what we did works fine. We'll leave it as new world. I just want to log in and make sure that everything is there, and then I'll leave you to it. You can go and install it and have fun yourself. Like I said, my machine's a little bit slow, so sorry about that. Spawn under a tree, always good. Ah, shark. Okay, so Dr. Zarks has loaded properly, no problem at all. And I won't want to mess with him because he'll probably want to bite me. Um, and there's rays out there as well. Um, yep, all good. She's started and she's running. So, that's it. Don't forget if you've got any questions on installing and getting it running, Drop me a line. I've answered over a thousand on 3.60. I'm sure I can answer some more on 3.71. Um, if there's something about the actual mod itself, then post it in the forum, and Dr. Zark and the rest of the guys um, will be more than willing to help. So that's it. All easy, and I'll see you in the server version in a little while. Take care. It's the Gopher signing out. See you later. Bye bye.